Now, it is the fastest running robot on Earth, reaching speeds of 28 miles an hour. Now, the cheetah, along with a host of other robots designed to mimic humans and animals with astonishing dexterity and speed, is about to join the ranks of the internet giant Google, which has bought up the research firm that developed them. After Amazon's high-profile plan to use drones to deliver parcels, we'll be investigating the march of the machines, starting with this report by our business correspondent, Siobhan Kennedy. Millions of us rely on Google's technology on a daily basis. Tapping away search terms into the web, we Google stuff as part of everyday life. But would you ever associate a firm like Google with strange, sinister-looking machines like this? Yet believe it or not, this is exactly where Google sees its future. The mass automation of repetitive human tasks that Google believes robots could soon do better and faster. Now, it's not just Hollywood films. Robots really are becoming more like humans, not only looking like us, but increasingly able to make smart decisions too. Of course, all that is very exciting for big businesses like Google. So much so, it's quietly been snapping up technology firms, seven in the last six months alone, as it tries to create the next generation of intelligent robots. Its latest buy, a firm called Boston Dynamics, makes everything from human androids to the world's fastest running robot used by the US military. This is no fun techie startup, and proof that Google really means business. It hasn't said what the technology's for, but it's notable the acquisition was driven by Andy Rubin, the man behind Google's uber successful Android software for smartphones. Very excited. Uh, One likely use could be to help automate the manufacturing process for Android devices, which is now mostly manual. But ever seen this? No hands, no feet. It's Google's prototype driverless car. Some say it's not inconceivable that one of its newly acquired robots could eventually deliver Android smartphones and other products straight to your door. No humans required. Automating and speeding up deliveries was behind Amazon's recent announcement that it plans to use aerial drones, no less, to deliver goods to customers as soon as 2015. Progress, yes, but doesn't the advent of robots signal mass job cuts for us mere mortals? Robotics is all about improving efficiency. It doesn't necessarily mean it decreases the level of jobs, though. That is a myth. A little bit like the early 70s when we had the av advent of computing. Um, a lot of people said, oh, this is going to get rid of a lot of jobs, etc. It didn't. It just increased productivity. How do I know this? Because it's happening. So right. some reassurance, Every yet the basic fear of robots world. taking over continues to haunt us, something the producers of the latest instalment of the Robocop franchise are only too aware of. Like it or not, if internet giants like Google and Amazon get their way, Robots won't just be walking down our streets, they'll be running, driving and flying too.